Today it is 6th of April on Tuesday. Uh, it is just after Easter day. Last weekend I had proper Easter day for the first time in a Western culture. We got a lot of chocolates. I drove back to my home country, South Australia. No, South Korea. <laughs> South Korea. I have never celebrated for Easter day. I sometimes used to have just boiled egg or I saw uh, some people from church on the street trying to talk to random people to make them join their church and there was all of memories about Easter day and when I moved to Australia for the first time in 2018 I also didn't know why chocolates are related to Easter day also why there are a lot of bonus picture anyway today I don't have a class and also I won't have any classes until the end of this April because I finished the first term last week and the second term will begin on the last week of April so I can focus on creative or uh, artist stuff for these whole months and that is so amazing and lovely for me but the more this month I want to read more books and study English uh, individually to expand vocabulary options as I mentioned almost every time living in an English country has the greatest advantage that is more easily accessible to English learning source. If you wonder how I study English and read the books in the second language, I normally read like challenging book, easy book, challenging book, and easy book, and challenging book, like this pattern. The challenge books have a lot of new words on almost every single page that I need to learn. In easy book, mostly it is a short story or uh, there are many many familiar words that I already know. I try to finish a book in a month but when I read some challenging books it takes one month and a couple of weeks. When there are too many new words I also sometimes get 
word. I feel like I'm not getting into the story. But at least I try to finish the book until the end. I try to focus on learning the words. And when I start the next easy book, I feel like I'm enjoying the story and getting to the characters' feelings and emotions and sentiments. I'm currently reading this book, If Cats Disappeared from the World by Genki Kawamura. I started uh, this book from the last Tuesday. I'm. Um, it's. 126. It has 201 pages. It is the fastest speed that I ever experienced. It could be because the words are really really simple and easy or it could be also because my English has been improved but any either the most proud of thing is the fact that I'm reading in a second language. If I'm following this story well, it is about the man who has a cancer and got honest, he's going to die in a few months. But suddenly a devil appeared to him and the devil announced to him he's going to die in a day unfortunately because that is devil's rule in the book. However, the main character expands his life somewhat. If he wants to remove something physical from the world, he can Earn a day. The vibe, the mood of the story keeps reminding me of the Traveling Cat Chronicle at some point. into the park and read the same book. Whenever I go outside, I check around here because the last time I saw a big spider.
everyone today it is 11th of april on sunday it is 9 30 at the moment and in half an hour we are heading out soon and going to the city because there is a small festival it is called gathered design market it is a community of local businesses in adelaide and they are selling their creative work or food for two days so i believe they started yesterday and when i was in korea i used to go a lot of art illustration festival or fair design fair um in seoul it always held it in dongdaemun design plaza i'm super glad that there's a similar thing in adelaide so i wanted to go before it finishes uh, today and i wanted to bring you all with me mm -hmm. 